hello guys and welcome to another chemistry class uh, and in this chemistry class in this chemistry class i'm going to be looking at elements i'm going to look at compounds and mixtures elements compounds and mixtures definitely this will not be the first time you're hearing about element compounds and mixtures do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the old to schools jam application old to school jam application is obviously and unquestionably the best cbt practice app available out there for your use it has all the past questions all in one all subjects in one so imagine now you you want to get past questions and then you decide to go to the market to buy your regular past questions so you buy one for one thousand naira, and you buy four for your four subjects that will be four thousand naira. but the o3 school jamba has all the past questions for all subjects that means you can use it and your siblings can use it or your friends can also use it alongside with you it has all the past questions that you need. It has some wonderful features, such as the mock feature. The mock feature allows you to participate in our weekly CBT challenge, where all jam bites using O3 school, school Jam app compete with each other to test how prepared they are. And even if you don't want to compete on Saturday, you can set an exam for yourself from the app. There are wonderful features, such as the question search feature. The life changer nova is on the, is on the app. Everything you need is on the app all in one if you have not seen the testimonies from the app for the last jam that was written go and search for it on this channel and watch it activation of this app is just 2500 naira. this is a little token that you give to us for us to activate your app to appreciate us for the wonderful work we are doing it is not easy in case you have trust issues and say ah if i pay this money will it not be scam maybe you have been scammed before but this is a different game entirely immediately you have made your payment of course you can send your receipt of payment to 091215152460 this is our customer care number on whatsapp send your receipt of payment after making payment to the zenit bank account on the app and wait for your activation of course you will definitely be attended to all right so today what's before us of course is element compounds and mixtures before now we have we must have known that what matter matter is anything that has mass matter is anything that has mass and occupies space and occupies space matter is anything that has mass and can what occupy what space that's why i'm matter you are a matter right you have mass and you can occupy what space of course what is the mass here that we talk about mass itself is the quantity is the quantity of matter contained in a body mass itself is the quantity of matter contained in a body so we have known what matter is and we have known what mass is matter is classified into three which is what the elements elements compounds compounds and mixtures mixtures so now we are going to double into element compounds and mixture i'm going to see their definition i'm going to see their examples and then we are going to see the differences between compounds and mixtures so that will be the closing of what of the topic the topic will not be so big it will not be so large it will not be so long it will be very interesting so follow me on this journey so the first one is element what is an element robert boyle robert boyle 
Define the Robert Boyle. Maybe ask this question who define what element? Who give a definition of element? Robert Boyle. Define element as a substance which cannot be split into what? Simpler units by any chemical process or by any chemical what means. Right? So Robert Boyle defined an element as a substance which cannot cannot be split into simpler units by any chemical means by any chemical means or by an ordinary chemical process so the Bible defines an element as a substance which cannot be split into simpler units by any chemical means or by an ordinary chemical process and of course one thing you should know about element is that they are represented by what by symbols elements are represented by what by symbols that's why you can have an element like iron, Fe. You can have an element like zinc, Zn. You can have an element like sodium, Na, and so on and so forth. You can have potassium. You can have magnesium, Mg, and so on and so forth. These are what elements. They are represented by what? By symbols. So, of course, elements also, they are also what classified into what? Into three. We have what the metals, we have the metals, we have the non metals, and we have also the semi metals. So, the order in which I've, I've, I've arranged them does not matter, but you should know what they are. So, the first one is what is metals. Metals are good conductors of electricity good conductors of electricity so metals are good are good conductors of what of electricity example is what is sodium that i've mentioned here iron is one copper and so on and so forth they are good conductors of what of electricities so of course we have semi metals which should, which should be the second one Semi-metals are also called metalloids. Metalloids. Semi-metals are poor conductors. Poor conductors of electricity. Metalloids or semi-metals are what? Poor conductors of what? Of electricity. Example of poor conductor of semi-metals includes what silicon Si, we have what your germanium Ge, and of course we have what your boron B. So these are all what these are all examples of what of metalloids. They are what poor conductors of electricity. So it's not as if they don't conduct, but they are what they conduct they conduct very poorly. Unlike what iron, if you carry iron and go and touch transform out carry iron and touch naked wire you will collect you will collect so if you carry wood of course wood 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 is not what wood does not conduct electricity if you take it close to what a naked wire you will not be you may not be electrocuted right or you will not be electrocuted at least to say the least so but carrying iron there we what it, you we collect you will receive you will receive you will receive of the lord but of course if you take what a, a semi-metal like what a germanium like silicon like boron it will conduct what poorly it will not conduct as much as what the metals will conduct of course they will not have the known metals this one they are what they are non conductors of electricity non-conductors of electricity this one do not what do not conduct electricity at all. Examples of non-metals include include what chlorine, your CL. Of course, you have what uh, oxygen, 
oxygen, your O, O2, of course, sulfur. Sulfur. These ones are what they are non conductors of what? Of electricity. So we have seen again. So let's recap. I talked about matter as anything that has mass and can occupy space. Talk about mass as the quantity of matter contained in a body. And then we'll talk about what the classification of matter into element, compounds, and mixtures. And we said an element are defined by Robert Boy. Is what is it is defined what as a substance who cannot be split into simpler units by any chemical means or by an ordinary chemical process. We said elements are represented by symbols, and of course, we said elements are divided into metals, semi metals, which are also called the metalloids, and non metals. Metals conduct electricity very well, such as iron, sodium, zinc, copper. They are good conductors of electricity. They talk about semi metals or metalloids, which are poor conductors, like silicon, like germanium, like boron. Like boron. They are all poor conductors of electricity. They talk about non metals. Of course, this one do not conduct. They are non conductors of electricity. Example like chlorine, like sulfur, like oxygen. They are what poor conductors of electricity. So now that we have seen the classification of elements and we have seen the classification of matter, now let's move over to compounds. So we are done with what with an element. Let's talk about what compounds. The most interesting one we'll talk about will be mixtures, right? Of course, now for compounds, compounds compounds so we say compounds are what they are what is the what they are substances right a compound is a substance which what contains two or more substances a compound let me write it down a compound is a substance which contains to all more substances chemically chemically combined together so we say a compound is a substance which contains two or more substances chemically combined together if you follow the very first class on introduction to chemistry we talk about chemical and physical change right so we talk about what chemical changes as what non-reversible what changes they are not reversible so that means that what compounds are formed as a result of what chemical change compounds are formed are formed as a result of what of chemical changes of course right so this is one thing you should know about compounds right so they are formed for example if a, a base reacts what with an acid to form what salt and water right of course you see that what the 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 the, the uh uh the properties of what of the compounds that are formed they are different from what those of the constituents right so the property that of what of the compound that is formed is different from those of the constituents we'll get to the differences between a compound and a mixture we are going to see those things all right now we have seen a compound we see that compounds are formed as a result of what of chemical world changes so examples of compounds example is what if you have what for example carbon four oxide co2 it comprises of what? Of carbon and what? Oxygen in the ratio 3 ratio 8. Of course, we also have what? Hydrogen sulfide, for example. Hydrogen sulfide, this is a compound, a combination of what? Hydrogen and what? Form as a, as a reaction of what? Hydrogen what? with what? With sulfur. So if they combine, this is what? H2S. So this is what made of what of hydrogen hydrogen and sulfur in the ratio one ratio 16. then of course another compound is what example is what this one is the is the uh the sweetest one if for the first time we we're learning chemistry that time so tetra ozo sulfate tetra ozo sulfate six 
acid acid that is what h two s o four right so of course uh comprising of what of of hydrogen of hydrogen of sulfur and what and oxygen this one is in the ratio one ratio 16 ratio 32 all right so these are what these are examples of what of compounds they are formed as a result of what of chemical changes carbon does that form when carbon reacts with with oxygen right uh, hydrogen sulfide is formed when hydrogen reacts with what with sulfur then tetrahydrate of cis acid of course is formed well, with the reaction between what this what components all right so these are what examples of what of compounds so if i've seen the examples of compounds the next thing we are going to jump into our uh, mixtures right a mixture so let's move over to what mixtures are let's see mixtures let's see the type of mixtures we can have and then we can see some fun uh comparison between what compounds and what and mixture so we said what mixture contain two or more substances We say what mixtures contain two or more substances. These mixtures are not chemically combined together. They are not chemically combined together. Mixtures are not chemically combined together. So mixtures contain two or more substances that can be that can be separated by physical means. So, mixtures contain two or more substances that can be separated by what? By physical means. So, what does this tell us? This means that what mixtures are not what chemically combined together. They are not like compounds. They are not chemically combined what, together. The substances, and again, another important thing you need to know about mixture is that the substances that make up mixtures can either be what elements or compounds. The substances that make up what these substances that I'm talking about here, they can either be what elements or compounds or even both. The substances that make up what uh, mixtures can either be what elements or compounds or both. Likewise, and that thing we need to know is that, well, that impure elements, impure elements, and also impure compounds, and impure compounds, they are all as term, uh, they are also what called mixtures. So they are under the umbrella of mixtures. Impure elements and impure compounds are under the umbrella of what of mixtures. So what are examples of mixtures that we have? For example, example of mixture is hair. We say, of course, you have heard before that say hair is a mixture of what of gases in different proportion, right? So hair is what is a mixture. Sea water is a mixture. Alloys are mixtures. Alloys are mixture. For example, alloys when two uh, metals combine together. If you have, for example, uh, bronze now, bronze is a, is a, is an alloy of what of copper of copper and tin so when copper and tin are what are mixed together in the proportion 88 percent of copper to what 12 percent of tin we only will have what we have bronze so bronze is an alloy for copper and tin in this proportion right so bronze alloys are also examples of what of mixtures but of course there's one important thing i would love you to know which comes out a lot in jam past questions and of course it will come out even long after you are gone. So, uh, we have two types of mixtures we are going to, uh, based on composition, based on composition, based on composition. So, before we talk about this one, another example of mixture is what is Coca-Cola. The Coca-Cola you drink every day is what? It's a mixture of what? Different things. One of the mixtures here is what? It's carbonated water. Carbonated 
water. You know that bubble you see in Coca Cola, that bubble once you open it, eh, is because of what this carbonated water. Know that Coke, of course, is made up of 90% water. 90% water. The carbonated here is purified, is purified CO2. Purified CO2 is what you call what carbonated water. Uh, carbonated water so the carbonated water is what is purified what co2 it gives coca-cola that what that fizz that fizz that fizzle or fizz or that what that a uh, bubble that bubble you see so this is what gives what coca-cola with that bubble of course another thing in coca-cola is what is sugar sugar is what gives coca-cola what is sweet taste it's what it's sweet it's sweet taste so guys, what gives Coca-Cola is what is sweet taste. So this is what a mixture. Of course, we also have caramel. Caramel. You know that characteristic color, the caramel color. Coke is not black. It's not black, right? It's not black. So the color is something from, I think, dark brown, darkish brown to something, something. So the caramel color is what is specially made for Coke. The Coke color is caramel. It's a special type of what caramel. Uh, caramel. Uh, it's a special type of color uh, or special type of caramel color made for what for Coke alone. So of course, the caramel color also gives it its characteristic color. So caramel color gives it what its character. Caramel gives it its characteristic what color. Now that we have seen the color, then of course there's also phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid in coke that is what h3po4 phosphoric acid is present in coke it gives coke that tartness that tartness that sharp taste you feel that sharp taste that sharpness in coke that is what was gives what it was the phosphoric acid of course is safe you say you don't say ah coke one kilos so it's very 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 safe it's very safe all right and of course it, it comes in very very small what amount so the phosphoric acid even it also have caffeine it also have what caffeine the caffeine of course is it's what gives it what is slightly you see coke is almost slightly bitter you want to taste as if it's bitter but it's not bitter so it is the caffeine that is present is what is slight bitterness it gives for coke is what that what that slight what bitterness what more is present carbonated water sugar caramel phosphoric acid caffeine uh what else what else is present in coke of course natural flavors natural flavors natural flavors i cannot forget about natural flavors you see this natural flavors is the secret behind coke this the secret has been with coca-cola company since when this company started being in existence Right, so this Coca Cola, this natural flavors, is a special blend of Coca Cola of different type of flavors that gives for Coke. That what what makes Coke today, right? So of course, it is the highly, it is the most protected and guarded secret in the world. So nobody knows what this formula, apart from two people. I guess last time I heard, and one one of them is dead. So basically, I just want to tell you that Coca Cola also is a mixture of what this what many many things so that thing you are drinking you are drinking it is what it is a mixture of what a lot of things so now let me quickly for uh, understanding and exam sake because of your exam i'm going to tell you about us two based on composition we have two type of mixtures we have homogeneous homogeneous mixtures we have also have what heterogeneous heterogeneous mixtures so of course homogeneous mixtures you, this is in the past question homogeneous mixtures are what mixtures that have what mixtures that have uniform composition uniform composition for example now here hair has what different mixtures right so that is homogeneous and what a perfect blend is a perfect blend right here is what is what is an homogeneous mixture what of saline solution saline solution a saline solution or a saline i don't know how you call it but a saline solution is a solution of what of water and what and salt 
because it's a perfect blend it has a uniform word composition then you can call the word an homogeneous word mixture what about um, uh beauty men beauty men one for 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 for, for doing your road those are what also what those are also uh uh those are also what uh, uh homogeneous mixtures beauty men or oh, some people call it asphalt in, in america i think they call it asphalt more right so beauty men or asphalt even alloys 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 we'll talk about what alloys were well, when two or more metals what are joined together to form another special what uh, uh product for example like we said bronze is an alloy of what copper copper and what and tin right so in the proportion of what 88 percent to what to 12 percent right so these are all what homogeneous mixtures they have a uniform composition and of course another thing about homogeneous mixture yeah, if if you cannot remember uniform composition you can say that what well, they are miscible they are miscible miscible right so you, they can mix together eh? they can mix together so uh, heterogeneous mixtures are mixtures that have no that have no uniform composition so heterogeneous mixtures do not have uniform composition for example sand and water sand and water is there any way that the sand will now blend with the water and now form something no what about salt and oil now what about gravel gravel and water eh okay what about toys in a toy box right so these are all what heterogeneous word mixtures so now that we have seen mixtures what we have seen what mixtures have right then we have seen what the classification based on the composition then we have gone a, we have doubled around to look at what coca-cola is made up right of course now we're not going to see differences between compounds and mixtures and of course that will be leading us to the end of this class and the next class will be separation techniques the next class will be separation techniques all right so now let's see differences differences or oh, there's no need to overwrite it out differences between what compounds and what and mixtures what do we know about compounds and mixture what are their differences right we already know about mixture that what that they are not chemically combined together mixtures are not chemically combined together together and can be separated and can be separated by physical means i have known that from the definition they say what mixtures are substances which can what be separated but by physical means they can be separated by what by physical means of course we say compounds of course are what chemically combined together and cannot be what separated by physical means of course this is one of the differences so i haven't seen this difference what other difference is this compounds are represented compounds not chemical compounds are represented by chemical formulas compounds are represented by chemical formulas for example a reaction between an acid and a base right the form of salt and water right it has what a formula the mixture do not have formula do not have or are not represented by what by formulas for example like a mixture of what of copper and tin to form bronze it does not have a formula right so 
uh, the uh, like uh, the the salt line solution does not have a formula so mixture do not are not usually presented by what by chemical what formulas right what other things do we know about compound and mixture we know that what that the properties of what of uh, mixtures are those of what its constituents are the properties of its constituents like the properties of mixtures are those of its what constituents are those of its constituents so so the property that a mixture will give you will be the property of what its individual what constituents but of course the uh, uh the properties of what of a compound the properties of compounds properties of compounds are different from those of its constituents so we have seen another difference between what compounds and mixtures so whatever uh, uh uh, whichever or uh, which other uh, difference can we notice between what compounds and mixtures? We have mentioned what the homogene homogeneity and heterogeneity of what of mixtures, right? So that means we can also say that what uh, I'm going to explain that part critically for you to understand. I'm going to explain it. So another difference is that what mixtures are what mixtures can be homogeneous or heterogeneous heterogeneous right we have said that said that before we have, we have listed example of what both homogeneous what and heterogeneous mixtures but compounds are always homogeneous compounds are always homogeneous why are compounds homogeneous because Compounds are homogeneous because they must what they must mix. They must mix to now form or something else. You get, but uh, mixtures can what be homogeneous or what heterogeneous because they are homogeneous because they can mix. Like in the case of alloy, where copper and tin will mix to, to form what bronze, right? Uh, then of course they can they can be heterogeneous. Like for example, salt and what uh, uh, salt and oil, right? Salt and oil cannot mix. Right, of course. So those are what mixtures. Mixtures can be homogeneous or heterogeneous, but compounds can only be can only be homogeneous. So now we have seen technically, and we have seen very well that what that compounds can be uh, compounds cannot be separated by physical means. The quantity of compounds cannot be separated by physical means. But of course, those of mixtures can be separated by by physical means. That is why in our next class. In our next class, we're going to talk about separation techniques. We're going to talk about what separation, separation techniques. Do not forget to what to follow us on our class as we continue. Um, with God's grace, we are going to finish up all our syllabus before what, the exam. All right, so please make sure you follow us also. Download the OT School Jump app. OT Schools Jump app. O3 schools jam app is being displayed on the screen right now. Download it and of course practice question and you'll see yourself at the top. Thanks for listening. I'll see you again in the next class.